are the words there is nothing we can do something that you hate to hear well maybe we can look at a different approach to cat care let's discuss Hello, lovely cat parents. If we haven't met yet, my name is Paola Zanibelli Davis, feline holistic care and behavior specialist, helping you and your cat live extraordinary lives together by unlocking the secrets of natural remedies and positive training, because not having alternative options should not be an option. If you're watching this on YouTube, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel so that I can help more cat parents and their kitties. My goal this year is to reach a thousand subscribers and maybe you could help me get there. Now let's get into to today's topic. Today I want to share something very close to my heart, the empowerment of taking control of our cat's well-being through proactive care. You see, I've always been deeply connected to animals, especially cats. They hold a sacred space in my life and I have always wanted to give them the best care possible. Many years ago, I have experienced those moments of helplessness when a vet said, there's nothing we can do. It is absolutely heartbreaking to see your cat suffer and feel that you have zero control over the outcome. But that's where my journey began. I realized the immense power that we can hold as cat guardians in shaping our kitties' lives. When it comes to cat care, knowledge is definitely power. Understanding your cat's behaviors, needs, and health concerns is vital. I embarked on a quest to learn more, to train on holistic approaches, to understand proactive care, because I simply refuse to feel too totally helpless when it comes to my cat's well-being. When I look back at the chapters of my life, there is one story that uh, defines who I am and why I am so passionate about empowering cat parents to take charge of their cat's health. As a child, I faced trauma that shaped my early years. Undiagnosed ADHD made me a daydreaming, chatty and destructible child. And in the Catholic school that I was attending, the nuns labeled me as stupid and often shouted at me. And they actually loved to put me in front of the class with a chair on my head yes, for the simple act of talking during lunch. I was bullied later on in school as well and had some of the worst years of my life before attending university. In those moments, uh, in those difficult moments, I found solace in the company of animals. They became my best friends and I learned to tune in with their ways of communication. Their unwavering companionship provided me with the comfort and understanding that that I desperately craved and um, of course my struggles persisted because I was battling body image issues and eating disorders and various health challenges so I embarked on a journey towards healing and self-discovery. It was through the study of psychology, natural therapies, a profound understanding of nutrition, particularly after my mom passed away from cancer, and the transformative power of strength training that I found finally peace and balance in my own life. The knowledge and tools that I gained uh, weren't just about transforming myself though, they became the bridge between the human side of things and the world of feline care. I realized the remarkable links between holistic health approaches and the potential that they held in providing compassionate and proactive care for our precious kitties. When faced with adversity concerning my cat, I became driven by a burning desire to rewrite the narrative of help and I immerse myself in the study of feline behavior management and holistic care. Um, there is nothing we can do became my catalyst, propelling me towards a mission, a mission to empower cat parents just like yourself, and to take control, to learn, to advocate and to nurture your cat's well-being in every possible way. My journey has led me here to share my experiences, my knowledge and my strong passion for transforming the lives of cats and their guardians. For me, it's this is more than a calling. It is a commitment to rewrite the story, to say that there is always something we can do and together we can make a world of difference. Because honestly, most of the times there is something we can do. So what is proactive cat care exactly? 
It is about being ahead of the game, anticipating potential health issues, taking preventative measures and fostering a healthy lifestyle. It is about not just waiting for issues to arise, but actively working to prevent them. Having a supportive network is also crucial. Finding veterinarians who listen and are open to explore various options and connecting with fellow cat lovers who share the same passion can really be a game changer. If you want to learn the secrets to become a much more confident cat parent who is able to up-level their relationship with their vet and is able to have a clinical eye over their cats, saving on stress and vet bills and getting the upper hand during health challenges, check out the Holistic Cat Care Jumpstart in the description below, which was created exactly with this in mind. In this program, you will also have the opportunity to be part of a lovely community to explore alternative options and to support you in your journey so that you do not necessarily have to stand for the there is nothing we can do statement. Seeking second opinions and exploring holistic treatments definitely open new doors for me and for many of my clients and students. Holistic medicine and natural remedies have been a cornerstone in my journey. They are not always something you use instead of traditional medicine. In fact, they can very well complement traditional treatments but they offer a whole new spectrum of care. I have seen incredible success stories where these approaches have worked wonders and the side effects of trying these ways, none. Now, there are certain things we cannot change, unfortunately, but there are many situations that we can definitely influence with what I call hands-on cat parenting. Taking control means being proactive in every aspect, from regular checkups to ensuring a balanced diet and mental stimulation, to creating a bond that we share with our cats that goes beyond words. But it's more than that. It's about acting like a caretaker where your cat's well-being is achieved by embodying the role of parent where we value our cat's needs and help them achieve their potential but we also put boundaries down and set rules and routines that allow us to take care of them properly hands-on cat parenting as i said um, for example statements like my cat doesn't like this supplement or it doesn't like syringe feeding or it doesn't like healthy food you insert whatever thing you you could totally change your cat's life with but you can't fathom how to make it happen so um, these statements change into statements like how can i make peeling my cat or syringe feeding my cat or feeding better quality food uh, again insert whatever you want to achieve here um, how can I make this possible? This is what we transform uh, the previous statement into because it's a it's a more transformative way to look at the situation. So um, what is a way to, that I can learn to create cooperative care, for example, without stress and without failing and so on. I am curious to know, are you cruising through a perfect relationship with your cats or are you facing any challenges? In any case, remember that you're not alone. Take charge, be informed, seek support and embrace a proactive approach. Together, we can definitely empower ourselves to advocate for our cat's health and happiness. By the way, one of the ways you can maximize your cat's longevity and lifestyle is by keeping them indoors. If you want to hear my take on this topic, you can watch this video popping up somewhere on the screen right now. Stay tuned for more videos on feline wellness and behavior management and until then love your cats as much as you can. Take care.